So I'm in the studio and I'm continuing on this piece. Some of this is actually in real time, so you can see sort of how slow things go when you're when you're doing this kind of work. Um, I will say that it's 8.30 at night when I'm actually doing the, the audio recording for this and um, there are tons of birds outside my window <laughs> chirping like crazy at 8.30 at night. I mean, there must be some really happy birds where I live. Um, so they're going to be part of the soundtrack, I think, if you can hear them. You'll see here that I'm using a mull stick, uh, M-A-U-L, which is common among painters when you're trying to keep a steady hand. So I'm right-handed, so I hold it with my left and I use my right um, to rest on it because you can't rest on your painting usually because your painting's usually wet and you don't want to ruin it. Um, so that's what I'm using here. A quick word about um, one of the aspects about the type of work that I do in wood stain is that I'm painting directly on the wood. I know that sounds sort of basic, but um, the instruments that are normally out there, if you Google painted instruments, usually the artist is not painting on the wood. They're painting on the lacquer, the clear coat, the stain that's already on a finished instrument. So they clean it well, you know, to make sure there's good adhesion, but they're using acrylic paint or oil paint on there. So they don't have to worry about um, the intricacies of wood stain, which is that wood sucks up stain and it goes where it decides it's going to go. So it's hard to control. That's one of the bi biggest aspects of what I do. There are very few wood stain artists out there. Um, and because there are no books to show you how to do it, I guess everybody's come up with their own method. My methods are quite slow because I'm just using brushes. I'm not using rags. I'm not, I'm doing very detailed work for brushes. I'm not using Q-tips or anything like that. Some artists will spray actually a clear coat on wood and then put the stain on that. So essentially they're not staining the wood. They're just adding, they're just putting um, stain on the clear coat so they don't have to deal with the absorption and the lack of control that happens with wood stain. So that's one of the very specific things to the type of work that I do. two things before I leave you. One is that I really wish you were with me in the studio so that you could hear the amazing music that I'm listening to um, while I work. It's the artist um, who actually is inspiring this piece. Um, I, it, I'll introduce you to his music um, when this entire project is done and I'm really excited about that. And the last thing is that um, it's difficult to get video close-ups of me actually working like just the actual painting uh, picture a camera between my face and the guitar it's I wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing but I did a, a setup and was able to sort of look over the camera while I was trying to work I did this so that I could get you a close shot so they're not common or comfortable but I did want to get you something so this following sequence is just for you enjoy it and I'll talk to you next time